Hey guys, it's me, Tracy A, back with another video. As you know, her given hair is where it's at. So, I got two bundles of coily texture, um, 16 inches, and then I got an 18 inch lace frontal, a 360 lace frontal. Let's get into this frontal real quick. This frontal is the bomb.com. Besides the fact that it's a little bit drier than the um, bundles I really did enjoy it. it's a little bit coarser and I think it looks more like a like it's a mix between kinky and coily but when it's saturated you can definitely see those coils Why this 360 lace frontal came equipped with two combs in the front one comb in the back and adjustable straps so you can hook on to the back this is how the frontal actually looks like on. I think it looks pretty good. It was pre-plucked and it did come with its own baby hairs. For me, I felt like the top was a little too thick and too dense. Like the density up top was just a little too much for me. I wasn't used to it. So I did end up plucking some. And I thought the size, the density was just perfect. Like you can low-key low key see scalp and I enjoy that. Like it looks really, really good. The back lace was also a little, a little too thick for my liking, but I did have some baby hairs that I was able to play with, so. Gonna go ahead and dye this lace frontal on the mannequin head because it was a little bit easier. I used clear all texture tones, uh, natural black, all that jazz. I tried my best not to touch the lace, but if you do, we can fix that later. So. This is the hair with conditioner in it. It was, it just looks so juicy and so bomb. I'm a 4C, but this is more of like a 4A texture. I'm in love, so. This is all the hair I got from um, conditioning. Not that bad though for a whole frontal. And I went in to go ahead and dye the two bundles of 16 inch coily texture. It's definitely different for me, but I'm, I'm enjoying it, all right? My dad is not my hand. It's actually my best friend. I was teaching her how to bleach frontals. The mixture could have been thicker, but you know, it's a learning process. So now we're going to go in with some color ooze to remove all those black spots from um, dyeing the lace frontal. It's definitely removable and you could also put some concealer over it. After letting that sit for a bit, I went in with some Shimmer Lights conditioner to kind of uh, tone the entire lace frontal, especially since I just bleached it. To make sure to kind of coat every single strand so the lace is completely covered in it. And then I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and wash it out. Now that the hair is dyed and the frontal is bleached, I'm going to go in and start plucking. Um, I really wanted to focus on plucking on the top, but I did pluck some on the sides, but behind the hairline, because I felt like the hairline was a relatively okay density, but a little bit behind that was just too much for me. So I just went in and I plucked some. <laughs> Even though I'm speeding this up, I definitely did take my time and I made sure I went behind the hairline and I tried not to pluck so much because you know you do lose hair from just daily use anyway, but yeah. And this was the finished product. I think it looks really good. I think I did a really decent job being that this is my first time or whatever. And now we're going to go ahead and dye the lace. To dye the lace to my skin tone, I use a bowl, um, some hot water, and then I use the dye Adore in Honey Brown or 48. I thought that would be the best suited for my skin tone. And I went in and kept mixing and mixing, adding salt, adding more uh, dye, and just testing it with a paper towel just to make sure that I got the right color. And then I went ahead and soaked the entire 360 lace frontal, all of the lace, into the mixture and left it in there for about 20 minutes. After waiting 20 minutes, I then went ahead to test the lace to make sure that it was like my skin tone. And I think this is pretty good. I mean, like, this, this looks nice, so. Lastly, now that the lace is dyed, everything is plucked, and the hair is dyed, frontal is bleached, I'm going to go ahead and cut um, some baby hairs. I made sure I cut all the way around the perimeter because I wanted fuzzy edges or more of untamed edges because I'm not about that slick some edges to my forehead lifestyle. So yeah. 
After plucking, I went ahead and I actually sewed two bundles of hair and it was just not, it wasn't a look. So I had to redo it and I did only one bundle. So basically I used only one bundle of hair as well as the 360 lace bundle. Hello skin! Okay, it's not what this video is about. But I did want to show you how the hair looked, the texture. The texture of the frontal was a little bit more frizzy than the actual bundles, but I think it blended in very nicely. Um, I love the coils. I'm not used to that. I'm used to kinks and all that bad stuff, but this was different. It was a different change and I enjoyed it. I don't know if it was just me, but I felt like the frontal was a little bit shorter than the bundles, but I made it work, so. Um, I just adjusted it and I pulled it to the front. Did y'all see that? Slow motion. Sis, where that lace do? <laughs> oh man, I love this hair. But now we're really like what frontal like sometimes it actually scares me sometimes when I look at the hairline I'm like I can only see it a little bit. I see it on the side just because of my sideburns and I have a lot of edges. But I, I think it's I, I think I'm killing it, right? What they don't tell you is that the lace will always be there. Okay, so here's the lace up close and personal, you know, not far away, no filter, no shade, no T. Yeah, this is this is what we're working with. How do you think I did? Leave it in the comment section down below. Is there anything that you think I should change? Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to try another lace frontal in the future. You know, I'm not against them anymore. Yeah. Add me on Instagram and Snapchat because that's where you get mostly like daily updates because I can't be doing this YouTube stuff every single day. If you would love to see me a little bit more, I definitely have some more videos. I have more hair given hair videos as well as some lifestyle and med school videos. I am a second year med student. <laughs> you know, black excellence or whatever. Alright guys, see ya!